All right, welcome back guys to step four. It's time to mount those hinges to the bonnet. Let's do it. The original Jeep Wrangler hood hinges are going to fit over the Land Rover Defender bonnet hinge location. So we're gonna hide that little indent right there with the big old Jeep hinges that are really rugged. And after they're mounted, the Jeep hood hinges should hang over the bonnet as shown. Looking underneath the bonnet, here is how the Jeep hood hinges should look when they are mounted onto the top of the Defender bonnet. The Wrangler cowling should sit just above the bottom of the Wrangler windshield hinge and should be level from front to back. The cowling should not slope down toward the front of the bonnet. Put a level on it to verify that it's level. Here's a picture from my other build. It's important that these items rest at the bottom of the windshield hinge for proper fitment of the fenders over the wheels. It's all, it also allows the windshield to drop down onto the bonnet, which isn't possible on most authentic Land Rover Defenders. Initially, I used pieces of wood to find the proper height to set the front of the cowling. Once I found the proper height, I replaced the wood with plastic or PVC bushings that are cut to the proper height. It is probably no surprise that the Wrangler hinge mount will not line up with the Defender bonnet hinge. For this reason, an extension plate must be fabricated. First, we must shave off the top of the Wrangler hinge mount because it hits the Defender bonnet. Build a hinge mount plank as shown in this picture out of quarter inch steel. There's the dimensions that I used. You know, I just hit pause. Stack about a dozen stainless steel washers behind the Wrangler hood hinge mount. These washers should be between the Wrangler hood hinge mount and the fabricated extension plate. You can add or subtract from the washers once you have the bonnet mounted. Open and close the bonnet to see if the bonnet is rubbing against the Jeep cowling. If the bonnet is rubbing against the cowling, remove washers. And later we can replace all the washers with an actual bushing, but for now let's use washers. Determining the proper number of washers isn't critical at this step, and it is difficult to figure out because the cowling is not fastened in place. It's moving around, and we'll fasten that down and get her steady uh, a little bit later in the videos. You will need to very carefully and very slowly drill a hole and then file out the proper shape to insert the windshield washer fluid sprayers. My 2008 Wrangler had one sprayer, my 2013 Wrangler had two sprayers. Use a piece of eighth inch steel or aluminum and rivet it to this location under the bonnet. And this allows the use of the existing Wrangler hood support rod. All right, that wraps up step four. Let's go to step five.